what I've got here is a little bit of horse's hoof fungus, which occurs on dead birch trees in the in Scotland, and uh, I'm just fraying that up, ready for making fire. That's, uh, that's my tinder. It's very fine. It comes up like cotton wool. And what I need to do is to generate a spark to drop into this to get this to catch light and start smouldering. To make the spark, I'm going to use a method that we know was used in prehistory. I'm going to use this. It's one of those nodules of iron parietes I collected earlier. Remember I said that nobody's really certain how it's formed. Well, my favourite story came straight from the mouth of a professor of geology, no less, is that it could even be the blood of dinosaurs. Well, that might be unlikely, but that's my favourite story without a doubt. And I reckon they must have been dragons because you get good sparks off of this. It's an interesting material with a new nodule of this, newly collected. That brown colour is an oxide layer, it's like rust on the surface. And I've got to scrape back behind that before I'll get decent sparks. Now, to strike this, I'm going to use a piece of flint. And I've got a, a blade here I struck off earlier. Ah, I can start to smell a slight burning smell. It smells like a <coughs> cigarette lighter. And that's a good sign. It means I'm getting sparks. Now, the sparks that come off of this are very small and they're very low temperature. They're a dull red colour. So sometimes you can't always see them in daylight. You can get that smell of burning. You know you're getting somewhere. Of course, if you're using this every day on a regular basis, it's very quick because you don't have much oxide layer built up. I'm getting a good smell of burning now. That's good. Getting better sparks. Just trying to get them to fall in the right place. There we go. There's one in there now. So it takes a while. Wonderful thing about this tinder is it's so combustible. Wonderful. And that's just going to grow now. The, you can see there's a bit of a breeze here. So I've brought another fungus with me. This is a King Alfred's cake. A, a cramp ball is another name of an ash tree. Daldinia concentrica, and this is wonderful for fire lighting. And if I break this in half, you can see all these concentric rings in the middle. If I ignite this, it'll burn like a charcoal briquette. And I could have ignited it with one of these sparks, but it's more certain with this really fluffy tinder here. So I'll add that to that and get that to, to catch light now. Let's see. Good. Now, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put that into bracken. And we're in business. All I need now is the shellfish. <laughs> 